Hey everybody, this is D Uncle. Um, if you notice, I haven't been on for a little while. Um, been dealing with the loss in the family. Uh, it was my uncle, my dad's brother. He and his wife uh, treated me like I was their own son. And, uh, and they were like another mom and dad to me. I grew up living a couple miles from them and one weekend I'd be staying the night at their house with my cousin and then the next weekend he'd be staying the night at my house. But uh, I just wanted to get on and let everybody know why I haven't been online for a while. Um, it's hard when you lose a loved one, but the way I deal with it is I stay busy you know if you've seen my videos I'm either cutting grass or I'm working in my garage uh, my dad passed away I took up oil painting and uh, yeah you know that's how I deal you stay busy it, if my aunt didn't hear from me then she'd be uh, calling me and asking me uh, you know how how are you guys doing when you're going to come out and have breakfast or dinner with us. And uh, gosh, I'm going to miss them both. You know, my aunt passed away a couple of years ago. I still miss her. But, uh, you know, I'm grateful for the love they extended to me. And uh, <laughs> I won't ever forget them. You know, you got to you gotta keep them in your memories. That's how they stay alive. You know, they live on in our memories. And... Uh, so I'm I'm grateful for the time I got to spend with them. Obviously, I didn't go see him too much last year with all the COVID stuff going on, and with him having cancer, I I didn't want to be taking any chances of giving him COVID, you know, because I had to go out to the grocery store to get groceries, you know. I mean. But I did get to see him a few times, you know, I went to see him when he was in the nursing home and then when the doctor said that there was no more they could do for him, they uh, took him home and put him in hospice at home and, uh, you know, I did go out to see him when he was still coherent and, and got to visit with him a, a couple of times. And, and, uh, Last time was last Monday, and he wasn't uh, responding to much of anything to anybody. But when I sat down next to him and grabbed his hand and said, Hey, Uncle Willie, I'm here. He, his eyebrows went up, and he kind of let out a little noise like he was trying to say hi to me. So he knew I was there to see him. So that was a good thing. And... Uh, you know, losing somebody is always hard. I've lost all my family. Uh, my my uh, mom and dad, my brother and sisters, you know. But uh, you just keep plugging away. Keep, keep yourself busy. Keep your mind occupied. Don't sit and dwell, you know. Oh, I should have been out there more often to see them, you know. It's just not worth it. It's not worth to put yourself through that kind of misery. You know, you're better off just being grateful for the time that you did spend with them. And uh, <clears throat> keep them alive in your memory, you know. When I'm gone, I hope my kids uh, don't regret, you know, and sit around saying, I should have been out there more, you know. They have their lives, you know, and I understand that. So, I love them all. I love all my grandkids. Um, I welcome them anytime they want to come visit me, you know. Granted, I don't get out to visit them too often either, but it's getting a little harder, you know, for my wife and I to get out of the house. I mean, we used to go up and watch my daughter cheerlead when she was in high school, you know, when we were both able to get around pretty good. But uh, it's getting a little harder over the years now. And uh, my wife's having some pretty major health issues. So uh, anyway, God bless you all.
and uh, next time I'll be showing how much I got done in my garage and uh, more projects you know I like to stay busy so I have a ton of projects that, that I'm going to be doing if you all are interested in it you know or following me I, I hope so if not you know that's fine if you just happen to click through and uh, but you know there's a lot of people out there that are dealing with losses and some of them are having a hard time with it but just know that uh, if you keep them in your memory and uh, uh, they'll live on forever you know in your memory you know and uh, just keep those fond memories and think of them often you know so God bless y'all and uh, have a good night.